Hello folks here on the AME Studios channel on YouTube. I welcome all you millions of spectators at home watching now our new instrument video here. Look what I've got here. This is a um, 1978 Les Paul Deluxe Sherry Sunburst model and I featured it in Scott Gurham setups. Later I will talk a little bit more about the Scott Gurham setups. Now I will um, de demonstrate and explain to you the normal features of this guitar first as a simple guitar introduction. So this is a, a as I just said, a 1978 Les Paul uh, Deluxe model, normal uh, setup with the mini humbuckers. Um, these are the speed knobs. Uh, Scott Gorham introduced to that guitar, uh, to this topic later. Fine set glute neck. The typical gypsum uh, head plate with the gypsum logo here, not with the sign. Um, um, trapezoid inlays. The whole guitar is made of mahogany, mahogany set neck. And what is a little bit special in this series is uh, the backside of the neck is colored in sunburst too, up to the head. And greetings to Gamma, uh, special about the 1978 year of building is Gibson changed the machine heads into uh, metal machine heads with this aluminum kind of look. Um, the normal featured guitar there was a machine head with a tulip plastic head. Okay, concerning to the sound of the guitar. This guitar makes a rather good performance in clean modus. I demonstrate you a little bit fast now. Uh, all the pickup, the normal features with bridge both and neck pickup. So we start in clean modus with the bridge pickup. Here is uh, here. <laughs> See, I'm not a real king guitar player. You saw all the little mistake in uh, in jailbreak, so the D is not always very clean. Now the neck pickup, clean. <laughs> Same thing, crunch now. So that was the bridge pickup, now both. Directly to neck pickup. Okay, now I switch to the lead channel and add a little bit reverb to it, of course. Um, bridge pickup. Both pickups. Neck pickup. <laughs> All right. Now let's uh, have a look about the features what Scott Gorham uh, changed about this guitar. Now I'm, I'm uh, read you the whole whole uh, story of the guitar uh, with Scott's own words. Um, I found it, the source is premierguitar.com, if you like to um, research that one. So, Premier Guitar asks, one guitar you often link to is the Sunburst Deluxe. What's the story behind that guitar? Scott, on the first day I showed up for that initial meeting with the guys, Phil Linnott introduced me to the rest of the band and told me to put out my guitar so he could teach me a couple of the songs. I opened up this case and out came this old black Japanese, today we would say Chinese, Les Paul copy with no name on the headstock. I remember looking over at Brian Robertson and Brian Doney, and they both rolled their eyes 
when they were probably thinking, holy crap, who is this guy? It was such a piece of shit. I think at one point during that first meeting, the volume knob and the screw even fell off. After I actually got the gig with Sin Lizzy, I remember going back for the first day of rehearsals and Phil said to me, if you're going to be in this band, we have to buy you a decent guitar. Was all... Wait a minute. We have to buy you a decent guitar. I was all for that. So we went both went down to a place called Tottenham Court Road in London. It's where all the guitar shops were back then. Um, but the problem was we had a real strict budget. Unbeknownst to me, Thin Lizzy at that point was heavily in debt, of course. Uh, so we even get a new, so even even get a new guitar at all was pretty amazing. Of course, I, I went straight to the expensive guitars, and I could see Phil starting to sweat. He kept trying to draw my attention away uh, from the top dollar guitar, so I finally grabbed the Sunberg Deluxe and plugged it in. Okay, that's f all for now. I thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed what I told you about Scott Gorham. I hope you apologize all my mistakes in playing and in speaking because I'm not a f the first guitar player in the world and I am not a native speaker, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Greetings to all the Lizzie fans in the world, especially to my friend Andres from Menorca and Game Gamma from the EME Studios. And, uh, for the, and thank you very much, Toto, for filming this. And... Uh, At the end, I will try again one part of Jailbreak. So goodbye, folks. Okay.